sheets, ISKI cams, specialty fabricating, dirt transmissions, Gold Star Racing products, Dirt Track Supply, Midwest Racing, Harris Auto Racing, Turbo Blue Racing Fuels, Leesman Engineering, Masters Built Chassis, Lou Faggers Racing Equipment, Performance Bodies, TZR Engineering, RJS Racing Supply, Rapid Performance, David Ray Engineering, Ernie's Transmissions, Conoco Lubricants, Severson Oil. Thank you all, proud sponsors of Wissota Auto Racing. Ladies and gentlemen, we urge you to please support our fine sponsors and welcome to this Wissota sanctioned facility. We hope you enjoy the action. Now, get ready for the most competitive racing from the Wissota Promoters Association. We're glad you're here. Enjoy the races. Leading down the home stretch, it's Marty Larson, first thing to turn one. Larson pulling away a substantial lead over Brawley. Harris Inchuk up into the outside, that'll put him in the number two slot. Waldo's right there behind Brawley. Harris Inchuk gets a little bit high, manages to find the handles and gets through turn four. One program, though, Terry Klein in the number 34 told me that tonight if he wins the feature, he will donate his entire winning check to the Rocky Ward Junior Memorial Fund. What a great guy. Larson, your leader in the 95. Several car lengths ahead of 59, Michael Harris Shimshuk. Klein in the 34, presently running third. Then Brawley, then Waldo. Then the number six to Chuck Fleming on a great falls. Number eight loops it around turn two. Let's see if we can get that car underway. No, 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 it's gonna bring out the yellow. That's gonna bring out the yellow. Okay, the boys all getting lined up. Single file with a cone restart. We got the cone tonight. Marty Larson leading them down the main straightaway. Harris Simshuk, Klein, Brawley, Waldo, and number six, Chuck Fleming, through the first turn. getting a little bit out of shape in turn three. Managed to get a hold of it again. We got a yellow flag. Didn't look like he was going to be able to get that one unstuck, but he did it. Brings him down. Harris Inchuk, Klein, Brawley, and on the outside of Brawley, number six, Chuck Fleming. Looks like he's making up some ground. Larson still the leader. Harris Inchuk, Klein. Fleming, Brawley, Waldo in the 29. Looks like this could end up being a pretty fast track tonight once it gets packed in good. So far, Larson doing a fine job. About five laps left in this heat race. The first five, of course, qualify to draw for position in the main. Harris 
Simchuk get a little out of shape coming out of turn two. That'll put Terry Klein in second position. Chuck Fleming in third. Eric Simchuk manages to hold on to fourth, but Brawley's right there. Marty Larson, your leader, driving nice and smooth. He's hardly working at all in that car. Hey, you know, that's a good sign when the track's a little bit greasy in that first seat or two. It usually makes for some real good feature racing. So far in the lineup, Larson, Klein, Fleming, Harris Imshuk, and Brawley still managing to hold off. Darren Walton on the 29 and the number eight of Darren Grant. in the books, two to go. Ten down, two to go. Marty Larson, your leader by a long distance. Terry Klein running second. Fleming third, Harry Shinshuk fourth. Chuck Brawley in a 13, bringing out the yellow flag. Hey, I got a clarification on that last yellow flag. The number eight, Darren Grant, was not sent to the pits for causing the yellow because technically his wheels never stopped turning. One of the prerequisites, one of the prerequisites for being charged with a spin is that your vehicle must come to a stop. Twenty. Nobody's allowed to go to the inside of that cone. Cuts way down on people jumping the start and getting out of line before they get the green flag and go. Lights are out, the green flag's out. Larson's gonna race with Klein. Chuck Fleming up to the outside of Klein. We should see a white flag this time around. Marty Larson looking at one more lap to hold off Terry Klein for the second position. Chuck Fleming pounding on his steering wheel saying, go baby, go. I need more power, I need more traction. Number seven down inside of uh, Grant trying to battle him for that last qualifying slot. Let's see if he can get it done. Your winner of the heat, the first street stock heat, drawn for the main, Marty Larson, Terry Klein second, Chuck Fleming third, Michael Hill, Shinchuk fourth, and the number eight of Aaron Grant manages to pull it out for the fifth and final transfer spot to the main. Don't forget your 50-50 tickets, one for a buck, five tickets for three dollars, and hey, a special deal tonight. If you buy ten tickets, that's going to cost you six bucks to get Doug Kern out of Billings. Doug sponsored by the Heights Conoco, Kern Racing, Rad Racing, Action Bar and Grill, and Ditch Witch. The lights are out. Daryl Hicks says, let him go. The number nine is Steve Lechner, leads him down. Spats are on the outside of him. Cromwell inside. And Watson high on the outside. Spatzer comes out of turn two in the lead. Watson almost losing it, heading down the back stretch. Watson moves down to the inside, inside of Cromwell, up beside the number nine of Steve Lechner. A little bit of contact in the corner. Watson just can't get moved. They got him boxed in. Lechner trying to slam the door on Watson again, and he does it. Spats are pulling out to quite a lead. Lechner still in second place, Cromwell third, Watson fourth. That'll move Cromwell up. Cromwell moves into the second position. 
Now Watson tries him on the outside, can't quite get it done. Legner bobbled just a little bit. That gave Watson a chance to come through at a number three slot. Same deal in this heat. The first five cars will transfer and get the draw for position in the main. That's where the money's at. Lap number five coming at you. Five down, seven to go. Tim Spatzer, your leader. 33 points, Lama second. Watson in the 6X third. Lechner in the number nine fourth. Seven down, five to go. Spatzer coming around some lap traffic. Still your leader. Looks like Cromo maybe closing up a little bit of ground. Watson definitely right there knocking on the door for the number two slot. Lechner running fourth. Number 61, Keith Pryor running fifth. That's the last transfer. for the number two slot between Cromwell and Watson. Keep an eye on that deal. Looks like the 6X of Jerry Watson got just a little bit of a push coming into the turn. He loses a slight amount of momentum. Watch those front wheels when he comes into turn one. That car just doesn't want to come around. the right flag for Tim Spatzer with a white flag. One lap to go. Second is Cromwell. Third is Watson. Fourth is Keith Fryer to number 61. A good distance back. This time around, that number 77 with Tim Spatzer at the wheel should see the checkered flag. There he is, your winner, number 77, Tim Spatzer. Second place, Stephen Cromwell. Third place, Jerry Watson. Lechner looping it coming out of four. That'll put him somewhere near the back for the main, I'm sure. You know, if you watch these cars, just like that race there, if you watch the 6X outside of him in the 5X, Rich Wormley from Great Power. Wormley from Great Falls in the 5X. Mike Hesla in the 117. He's out of Great Falls. So far, Jeremy McEwen in the 383X looking good. Cardwell in second place. Dwayne Iverson behind him in the number four. And McCord right there in the 28X. Say these cars. Oh, it looks like Cardwell losing a part there in the back door. A little bit of sheet metal coming off the 77. McCord moves down to the inside of Cardwell. See if he can get it done. 
little contact. Looks like a possible mechanical problem. Possibly a mechanical problem with the 77. That'll bring out the yellow. That blue flag with the yellow stripe that you saw Daryl Heck just won the cone. 33F, Jeremy McEwen, your leader. Dwayne Iverson of the number four running second in the 5X. Rich Schwarmling out of Great Falls. Seven to go for the 12 lap heat of the first team of the Super Stocks. Looks like Iverson's going to start to put a little pressure on McCune now. Smooth move, Dwayne Iverson. Something wrong with the 33X possibly. He starts to slow. Looks like a possible mechanical problem. That's going to put Iverson in the lead. The number 5X of Rich Wormley moving down to the inside of him. Let's see what they accomplish. Once again, Cardwell's car developing that push that we talked about a little earlier. Still, Dwayne Iverson in the four, Mark, or excuse me, Rich Wormling in the five X, and the one seventeen of Michael Hessler close behind. Three laps to go this time around. Once again, watch the front wheels on Cardwell's car. You see that push that we talked about. It's costing them a lot of time. Right flag for Dwayne Iverson, the number four. One lap to go for Iverson, then Wormling, then the 117 of Michael Hesla. Dwayne Iverson in the number four. Wormling, that's Rick Rich Wormling from Great Falls second. Michael Hessler third. And Steve Cardwell in the 77 fourth. Out. Daryl Heck could throw the green at any time after turn two. He's going to look them over. They're tight. They're ready. And they're racing. Kelly Patton in the 25X leads him down three wide into turn one. Oh, a little bit of contact there between number 55, that's Frank Cardwell, and number 41, Stuart Ness. Jim Noble moving up nicely through the pack, coming up the challenge pack. Cardwell having a heck of a time maneuvering that car. And guess who's running third in the 57? 16-year-old Jason Jordan, the third place spot. And that's uh, Zawinski breathing down his neck there in the fourth place. Let's see how the 16-year-old can hold off the veteran. So far, the 15-year-old doing a great job.
Kelly Patton's starting to stretch out his lead a little bit. Noble's still striving to stay up there. Zerimski down to the inside. That'll give him the position. That's going to give him the third position over the 57 of Jason George. Looks like Cardwell slowing dramatically in the 55. We'll see what that's all about. Five in the books. Five laps down. Seven to go. Coming around your leader, the 25X, Kelly Patton. Zerimski in the 7J, moving up to challenge Jim Noble. Your race right now for the number two slot. We'll see how that develops. Noble can hold him off. The big race for the number two slot coming into turn three. They're side by side. Zarevsky had the lift for just a moment. Zarevsky had the lift, but he got it back. Your new number two car, the 7J, Jim Zarevsky, then Noble. And look at the 16-year-old go up inside the veteran Noble. The 16-year-old is going to try to take it away from him. Having a little trouble getting around some lap traffic coming down. One lap to go for your leader, Wayne Patton. Excuse me, Kelly Patton. Then Jim Zarimsky, Jim Noble, Jason George, and finally the 41 of Stuart Ness. A little bit of traffic. Let's see what's going to happen. Coming down for the checker flag. That's too close to call. We're going to wait for the word on that. Okay, I got the word. The winner of that heat race, the 7J, Jim Zerinsky by, what, two inches? Three back, Matt Albright. He's out. Daryl Hex going to look him over. He wants him tight, tight, tight. Nose to tail, bumper to bumper. Door handle to door handle. Coming off of turn four. We got a green. <laughs> Leading the down the main straightaway, the number 18, Ron Gatridge out of Belgrade. He's followed by the 13 of JR, Daryl Allen. Outside of him, Rory Mister. Oh, Charlie Angle the 27, making just a little bit of contact with that back wall. Doesn't look like Charlie's going to make it off the speedway. All the boys getting just a little bit anxious, it looks like. Flat tire on the 8M car. Rory Mincer got a flat tire on the left rear. All righty, the yellow lights are out. Daryl Heck's going to look them over one more time. Coming off of turn four, he wants them close together. And he's got it. That's the number 18, Ron Gatridge, moving him down the main straightaway through turns one and two. The 13, JR, down on the inside of him. That's Daryl Allen out of Livingston. On the outside, the number five, that's Eddie Kirchhoff, 16 years old. Minster sticking his nose up in there behind Albright. Oh, we got a little contact with the back wall. Eddie Kirchhoff, Eddie Kirchhoff, having a wild ride down the back stretch. That was what you call a hit and miss or not so miss proposition. We got a green flag. 
Number 18, Ron Gaffrich brings him down. Matt Albright tight on his tail inside the 13 JR. A little bit of contact there coming up out of turn two. That's going to put, whoa, a little contact between Mr. and Albright. Keep an eye on that 22 and that 8 m They got a real rival rivalry going. Minster down to the inside. Albright says, no way, buddy. Keep in mind, these cars do not have beers. There is no radio communications. <laughs> Looks like Minster up into the outside. Albright couldn't quite find the handle coming out of two. Minster coming up hard. The 13 JR Daryl Allen, your leader, Minster in second, Albright in third. Your race is for the lead right now. Albright moves down to the inside of Minster. Three wide, coming out of turn one. Albright can't hang it. Albright can't hang on to it. Oh, and Matt Albright in the 22 running fifth. The lights are out. The boys are nose to tail coming around the cone. Daryl Hicks says let him go. Keep an eye on that 22 car to Matt Albright. He's been known to move up through the pack before. The Mister ain't going to go down easy. The 13 JR of Daryl Allen is going to have his hands full. Minster moves to the inside, coming out of back shoot. Inside the 13 JR, can't quite hang on to it. We'll see what happens coming out of turn four. Yo, Minster takes the lead. 8 out, oh, Minster, your leader. 13 JR, Darrell Allen running second, Gathridge running third. Charlie Engel fending off the advances of number 22, Matt Albright. starting to stretch out a bit of a lead. Albright's got his work cut out for him catching up to Mister if he's going to do that. Not too many laps left to get it done. Ron Gathridge and 27, Charlie Engel. White Ford Van, license 3T3565J. Get it moved or we'll get it towed, and we do have the trucks to do it. We got a green flag, double zero. Ross Wolf leads him down. Six, Nick Ryder moves up into the outside. 21, Sandy jumping up into the second place spot.
Sanders second, Darren Waldo in the number two, Ian third. 14, Ellen Marshall, Ray fourth, Nick Ryder in the number six, fifth. And number 45, Travis Davis running sixth. into two separate races here. You got a race for one, two, and three. And then a whole other race. We got a spin. Travis Davis down on the inside. Let's see if he can get it moving again. Travis Davis having a little trouble on the back stretch there. Your leader still Russ Wilson in a great car. Sandvig doing his best to take off the advantage of Darren Waldo in number two. Two making a little bit of contact up there in the short shoot. We'll see if those two are able to get underway. We got a green flag, number double zero, Russ Wolf leads them down the main street away in around turn one and two. Nick Reiner running second, the number 14, Eldon Osterville are running third. Keep in mind that Waldo and Sandvig, Waldo and Sandvig, Waldo and Sandvig cannot re-enter the speedway while we're under green conditions, so they will not be in the top qualifiers of this heat. Coming around for the white flag, number 00, Russ Wolf. He's out of Great Falls, sponsored by Harrison Construction and Chase and Classic. Nick Ryder running a strong second. Eldis, Eldon Ostermo in the 14. Travis Davis in the 45. All four of these guys are going to get to qualify for the draw for the main feature event where the big bucks are. Your winner, number double zero, Russ Wolf out of Great Falls. Followed by Ryder, Ostermo, and Davis in the 45. next from Belgrade, Montana, Randy Larson, sponsored by Roberts Repair. Last but not least, number 47, Richard Waddell, and we got a green. It's going to be Digley, Herman, Donnelly, and Larson moving up fast on the outside. That's Digley. Oh, Paul Donnelly loses the handle. Digley's still your leader. 99X Randy Larson in second. Hamilton into number 30 and another hurdle to number four. Donnelly trying hard to take away that number four slot. Little bit of contact. Everybody doing a fantastic job. All the boys doing a fine job of getting around that little incident. Daryl Hicks going to look him over. He wants him tight. So tight they're almost touching. And we got a green. Bigley, Larson, Herman, Herman, Pete. Waddell in the 47 brings up the rear. Larson's trying his best, just can't quite find the handle up in the middle of that turn. So 
like Herbert in the third. He's got a little bit of a push going. He's losing a little bit of ground on that deal. Number four, two, slowing down in the back stretch. Looks like a possible mechanical problem. Rod Bigley, still your leader. Out of glass there, Rod Bigley, your leader. Randy Larson in the 99 X running third. Of course, he's last year's track champion in the modified. Number 30, Larry Herman running third. That's the halfway point. Six laps down, six to go. So far, doing a terrific job. Rock Bigley to number one. Larson trying to come on hard in the 99 end. Richard Waddell in the 47, move up into the third place. Top four qualifiers going to get to draw for position in the feature race. between Herman and Jeff Deeds. Herman having a heck of a time finding the horns. with one left to go in the modified heat. Number 99X running second and a long way back to the third place slot, 47, Richard Waddell. One to go, let's see what Larson can do with Digley. It's not easy to pass Rod Digley. Traffic road help, let's see how, oh, a little play down between Digley and 30 Larry Herman. Let's see how they cross the finish line. Randy Larson, your winner in the 99X. Rock Bigley in the number one out of Glasgow, finishes second. Richard Waddell, third. That's what lap traffic can do to even the best of champions. When that car is 20 foot long and 40 foot wide, sometimes there just ain't nothing you can do. Brothers Body Shop, and that'll round out the lineup for this heat of modifieds. The lights are out. Daryl Hex says they're good to go. We got a little contact between Hamper and Bauman. That's going to drop Hamper back. The court moves up inside of Bauman in the 2B. McCord running second, Hamble third, Kelly Hamble fourth in the 36, Mark Wordley moves up inside of him. Everybody getting strung out nicely, we'll see how the race develops. <laughs> Number 50, Hamble Wordling. Number 50 down to the inside wall, a short shoot in three and four. Wormling swerved to try to miss him and ended up nearly to the outside concrete. That'll bring out the yellow. We'll get the boys lined up again. Kenny Bonsai Bowman leads him down. McCord second, Hamble third, Wormling fourth. Kenny Bowman, hard to beat on this track.
the half, one point for Racina Modified. Six down, six to go. The Kennedy runs down down in your leader. Mike McCord to the 59 runs second. Kelly Hamper in 36 runs fourth. Wolverine in the number nine runs fifth. Jody Kopp in the 97. The hottest contention right now. Looks like it's for that number four slot between Wormling and Kopp. Bonsai Melvin getting in a little bit of lap traffic. The 59 of Mike McCord starting to show a little bit of blue smoke. The 59 of McCord showing just a touch of smoke. Stretching out his lead, McCord still second. Hamburg number 36 running third. One more time, McCord showing some smoke. We knew they had to swap motors in that 59 car. Looks like he could be all done. Mike McCord heads for the pits. Your leader still, the 2B of Kitty, Bonsai Bowman. Kelly Hamburg running third. Wormley in the number nine running. Running third, coming up for the checker. One more time, Kenny Bonsai Bauman in the 2B. Kelly Hamble in the 36 will come in second. Wormling in the 9, third. 97, Jody Crop, Dan Kimfather wipes her out over there in turn three. That'll bring in Ted Hample, and Dan Kim's father is still working on it. The lights are out. Darrell Hunt looks him over and gives him the green. Leading them down. Number 80, Lauren Salisbury outside of him. Rory Minster in a 7J. Digley right down in the back door looking at the number three slot. Minster doing a fine job of hanging it up on the outside there. That's kind of what you call getting freight train. Mister got freight train all the way to the back. That's going to bring Digley up in the second, followed by the number 17 of Jerry Bray. Then Zerbski, then Rory Minster all the way to the back. Brock Digley tries him down on the inside. Can't quite get the job done. That's what you call parody in the class. You can just about throw a blanket over those first four cars. Number 80, your leader, Lauren Salisbury, followed by Rock Bigley in a number one. Number 17, Jerry Bray, then Jim Zerinsky in a 68. Darrell Hunt says we're halfway. Halfway through the race. Six laps down, six to go. For your leader, number 80, Lauren Salisbury. And the number 68 of Jim Zerensky bringing up the rear of the path, Rory Minster in the 7J. We got a yellow flag. It looks like debris on the track going into turn one. Something come off of somebody's car. Well, 
And it looked like it was smoking, so you might want to pay it to it. We got a green flag outside the cone this time. Number 80, Lauren Salisbury, the leader, Rock Diggley, right there on the back door. Number 17, Jerry Gray, right outside of him. Diggley moves down to the inside, coming in the three, dives in deep and hard. And he gets the job done. Diggley, your new leader. White flag, one lap to go. Rock Diggley, Lauren Salisbury, Jerry Gray, and Jim Zaremski. followed by Lauren Salisbury in the 80, number 17, Jerry Bray, and in fourth place, Jim Zaremski. Wants them nose to tail, door handle to door handle, and we got a green. Coach off trying to high and wide up at the marbles, can't quite get it done. Number 37, Trevor Kirkman jumps into the lead. Ahead of Morris Oberly, Kirchhoff trying it high again. Kirkman must have worked up. Trevor Kirkman from feast to famine in half a lap. Your new leader, number 71, Morris Oberly out of Leeds, South Dakota. Kirchhoff 88 running second. They third of the morning, 11th X, running third. Kirkland number 37 coming down for the checkered flag. Of course, everybody goes to the main. Morris over the 71, you're a runner. Number 8 at Kirchhoff second, 11X. Dave Freeman in the 11X third, and 37, Trevor Kirkland fourth. Second Okay, we got a green. So far, everybody getting through turn one nicely. Keith Fryer up close to the car. We got a spin. That's Doug Kern in the 27. Let's see if we can keep it underway. Nope. We got a yellow. We got a yellow. That should be Darren Waldo in the number 29. The tail door handle, the door handle coming through turn four. Dale Hatch still luck him over. Cromwell's going to lead him down. Cromwell, Kern, Larson, Spatzer. Doug Kern in the 27. He's going to become your leader. Oh, we got a little contact up against the wall. Let's see if the boys can get going. Still waiting on that program. 
Racing gallery with a number 27 written in black. Bring it on up here and win the horseshoe set. If I don't see somebody up here directly, I'm gonna go to something else. We got a green. 33 Cromwell, your leader, drags him down into turn one. Turn on the outside in the 27. Spatzer and Lechner working it out in the second place slot. Jerry Watson and the number six of, who is that guy, number six? Jerry, yeah. who's number six? Oh, we got a little bit of, whoa, hold it boys, hold your fire. Turn just about getting wailed. The fast break auto glass ad. If it says number 95 in black, bring it on up, I'll give you the horseshoe set. Meantime, the lights are out, Daryl Hex gonna let him go green. Steve Cromwell, your leader, is passing behind him. Marty Larson, the 95, went three wide into turn one. Flying on the outside, Fryer shooting up the middle. Chuck Fleming in the six down on the inside. A little bit of contact, headed down the back straightaway. Everybody's so far getting through pretty nicely. A lot of dust. Looks like Fleming starting to lose a bumper. Chuck Fleming. Starting to lose a bumper. The black flag is for number 61, Keith Fryer. That's gonna bring out the yellow. Number six, Chuck Fleming, has gotta do something about that bumper also. Darrell Hicks giving him the green, coming around the orange cone in turn four, leading down the base straightaway. Steve Cromwell on the 33, Spatcher in the 77. Larson in the 95 running third. Pulls out to try to get around Spatzer. So far, so good. Everybody getting through nicely. Whoa, Jerry Watson getting just a little bit wide. Brings him around sideways. A little bit of contact there. Two laps complete. Perhaps getting a little anxious on that yellow flag. Green. Drama on the 33, Spatzer in the 77, Larson to the 95, taking it high to the outside. Klein moves down into the inside. 7T having a bit of a problem getting through. We got smoke coming off the 35. That's not a good sign. Drama, Spatzer, Larson, Klein. Darren Waldo on the 29 right there in the business. 35 not looking too good. The 35 is Ricky Hemming out of Billings. Not looking good for him at all. Everybody getting sorted out nicely. The 35 getting the mechanical flag. We'll see if he heats it, heads into the pits. If not, we'll have to use the black flag. Four laps in the book. Steve Cromwell, your leader. Tim Spatzer, the 77, runs second. Mark Larson, the 95. Terry Klein, the 34. One more time, that yellow flag, with the, that blue flag with the yellow stripe. We're at the halfway point. This is five in the books. Five to go for your leader, Stephen Cromwell. Number 28 starting to show a little bit of steam. That's not a good sign for him. Number 28, Ken Dodge. He just whipped her around into the pit. 35 still ain't got it. He's getting the black flag now. Let's see if he understands the black flag. Stephen Cromwell still your leader, trying to get around the 35 with the mechanical problems. Seven 
77, Spatzer running second, Larson running third, Clyde running fourth, Darren Waldo in the number 29, rounding out the top five. Looks like Larson had a little trouble coming up out of turn two. He lost about two positions in that deal. Don't know what the problem was. One more lap to go for your leader, Stephen Crowell, followed by Spatzer. Now Terry Klein in the 34. Darren Waldo running in the 29. He's in fourth. Marty Larson running fifth in the 95 car. Coming around for the checkered flag. Your winner, Steve Crowell in the 33. 77 Spatzer comes in second. Klein is third. Darren Waldo in the 29 fourth. Marty Larson in the 95 rounding up the top five. And so on down the line. Steve Cromwell taking a victory lap, well-deserved victory lap. Steve sponsored by Charlton and Sons Trucking, Eagles Nest, Auto Trim Design, Jim Hart Trucking, Yellowstone County News, The Myers, Dice Chemical, Thrall Distributing. He says special thanks to all sponsors, past and present. It wouldn't be possible without you. Thank you. Hey, I need, very quickly, for Lexi Grant, Lexi Grant, get down there to the flag stand to do the trophy presentation. Lexi Grant, hustle up down to that flag stand to trophy. And if Daryl Heck is very unfortunate, there should be a warm bottle of champagne with a cork just with his name on it. Frank Cardwell in the number 55 sponsored by McNeil Concrete, Billings Kubota, Fast Break Auto Glass and Kid Racing. Last but not least, rounding out the Superstock main, Eddie Kirchhoff. Jim Noble breaks it down, Pat on the outside, Cardwell on the inside. So far, everybody making it through turns one and two. Little contact on the back. Little contact in the back with the concrete. Look like a 13 JR. The 13 JR of Daryl Allen throwing a few sparks off the concrete. After glass. Last call for your raffle tickets. You better get them now because when this is done, we're going to quit selling after this race. One for about three for five dollars, six for ten dollars. Ten tickets for six bucks. Jim Noble, your leader, way to the outside, Kelly Patton. Come on, Rory. Lots of dust in three and four. So far, everybody making it through okay. Your leader still Noble. Mr. there is in third. Boxed in, Patton having a little trouble coming around the outside. Coming up to the outside, looks like Matt Albright, if I can see the number correctly. Boy, just blew all their doors off. Matt Albright, Jim Noble, Steve Cardwell, Mike Hesla. Vincer trying to shoot it through the middle. Cardwell's in the way. We got a little contact there in the back stretch. Looks like a couple of the boys hung up. They're hung up. Coming into three. Oh, we got a rollover. 
Roll over up against the wall. Let's get an ambulance and a tow truck out there right away. Never a good situation when you got a car upside down. Okay, the yellow lights are out. The boys are in single file, more or less. And we're going to see how it goes. Darrell Hex going to give him the green. Albright leads him down. Jim Noble right in second. Carter on the 77. Third, high and wide to the outside. Rory Mister sticks his nose up on the inside of Cardwell. That'll give him the third place slot. Everybody else getting to the turns nicely. Looks like the number 33X mechanical problems. 33X slowing dramatically. That's Jeremy McEwen and Rick Kraft's car. Minster moving to the outside of Cardwell. This trip giving the second place position. And he gets it so far. Matt Albright, Rory Minster, Steve Cardwell, Jim Noble, Dwayne Iverson. between Cardwell and Noble. The number 77 Cardwell hanging on to the position so far. Number 22, still Matt Albright, followed by Rory Minster, followed by Steve Cardwell, Jim Noble, Dwayne Iverson, Jim Zerinsky in a 7J running fifth. We got a spin up in turn four. It looked like possibly Cardwell getting out of shape. Let's see. Nope. Jim Noble in the 33. Jim Noble. Whoa! Jim Noble in the 33 was with, with some front end problems, I'm sure. Lots of sparks coming off of that car. Okay, I'm just checking. We can't be having anybody that's eligible to win drawing these tickets. Okay, the lights are out. Daryl Hex will look him over. Matt Albright brings him around the cone. It's Albright, Minster, Cardwell, Jim Zerensky in the 7J, fourth. Oh, Minster gets wide. That opens the door for Cardwell. It's tough to race on the dry slick. Cardwell did everything he can to get it on Mister, but Mister wasn't having any of it. He was lucky that time.
underway the race right now is for the number four slot between McCord and the 28X. Zarevsky, oh, and the 7J up against the concrete on the outside wall, losing a little bit of ground on that deal. Your leader, Matt Albright, Rory Minster in second, Cardwell in third, now McCord in a clean fourth. Coming up, lap number 18 goes in the books. Lap number 18 goes into the books. Two laps to go. This time around, Matt Albright, your leader, should be seeing a white flag. Mister starting to close ground, one lap to go. It's Albright, Minster, Cardwell, McCord, Romling, Zarevsky. The race right now for the number one and two slot. This is where he's going to win it or lose it. Matt Albright, Roy Minster, the rivalry continues. Matt Albright, your winner in the number 22. Roy Minster second by inches. Steve Cardwell in the 77 third. McCord in the 28X fourth. Rounding out the top five. Looks like Rich Wormling in the number 5X. Rich Wormling. Wow. Listen, did I did I not predict the rivalry between Minster and Albright? That's a close race. That's good racing, man. Coming around for the victory lap. This time, Matt Albright. And you'll notice the one, two, three finish. One, two, three finish. Albright, Minster, Cardwell. These guys are going at it, man. We're gonna draw for the big winner. Carissa. Carissa is going to draw for the big winner. Now, here's what you got to do, Carissa. You got to stick your hand in that cup, and you got to stir around a little bit, and you got to pull one ticket out. And while you're doing that, you got to look me right in the eyes. Don't look at them tickets, okay? Okay, she, oh, you got a pretty there tonight from the Junior Racer Fan Club, a new member, Charles Cartwright. Let's give Charlie a hand, Charles Cartwright. Good job, Charles. Okay, now he's going to shoot that champagne off with a broken foot. We'll see if that helps or hurts him. Is Matt going to shoot the champagne? Our quest of Glasgow, Eugene's Pizza, Rocks Auto World. We got a breeze on the dry slick tonight. Ample moving up the challenge for the lead. Little bit of a traffic jam coming through three and four. Everybody making it nicely so far. Four wide. That's Conley and Sandvig inside of the four wide guys coming down the main straightaway. Three wide coming out of two. Tough thing to do anytime, but on the dry stick, it's exceptionally hard.
Looks like the number zero zero. Zero zero Russ Wolf. But I can't make out who that other car is. Get everybody woed up again. Man, I'll tell you, it's awful tough on this dry slick when that track gets shiny like that and it gets that rubber laid down under. You just can't get it. knows the tail coming around that cone. He's got it. We got a green. Jody Pop, Kelly Hansel, Kenny Wright, Bob Alvin, Richie Rodell, Jeff Dean, Randy Larson, Chandler Jenkins, Rod Kigley, Ellen Ostermiller, on down the line. Everybody doing well getting through the corners. kinds of races going on right now. Looks like the hot contention is for the number five slot. Campbell taking the lead away from Crop. Campbell, Crop, Bauman. Larson's in the fray of it back there from fighting for number five. Campbell, Crop, Bauman, Rondell, Larson, and Andy Nordet. Everybody getting stretched out. Whoa, we got a little contact in turn one. Looks like uh, Waldo, and I can't make the other car out. Campbell, Scott, Alvin, Waddell, Larson, Daly, put the pressure on Larson. Number 45, Travis Davis, having a little trouble. Hanging on to it.
Hill, still your leader. Coming down on lap traffic. Jody Crawford is taking the rider in the fifth lap car. Kenny Bonsai of Alvin. And Ross Shealy. Slick here at the Magic City Speedway tonight. I got a pair of gloves up here. Oh, I know what it was. I got a pair of gloves up here at the announcers. We got this 80s, 1998 NASCAR 50th anniversary can cooler. Thank you. Pretty for the pitcher. And D&T Consulting, Oberly Radiator. Next in the 7J, Rory Minster. And Verona Ferrer, number eight. Ed Kirchhoff, number eight, rounding off the field. Daigley, your leader, brings them out of turn two for their maiden boys down the back stretch. Oh, we got a car sideways. What a piece of driving. Zerowski. Zerowski got sideways, and the boys did a terrific job of getting them rolled up. Oh, not so lucky that time. Not so lucky that time. We got a yellow flag. Let's roll it up. You'd have thought. Okay, the lights are out. Daryl Hex going to look them over. Coming around. Third four on the outside of that cone. Rock Bigley, Dan Freeman, Silver Bergman, and the 17, Jerry Burton running out the top four. See if they have any better luck on the dry slick. Kurt Schaub looks like he's fighting it. Kirkland getting a little wide up against the concrete. Zerowski losing a little ground in the dry slick. Looks like Digley must have hit the setup. Trevor Kirkland coming up on the inside of the 17. That'll give him the third position.
Stigley. We got a spin in turn one and two. We got a spin in one and two. That's Jim Zerinsky looping her out on the dry slick. I got a t-shirt from Racing World, Rusty Wallace. Compliments of Racing World. Here on the right. Here on the leader, Rock Digley. Brings the field to one and two down the back chute. All the boys considerably slower through the corners on that dry slick track. Your leader still Rock Digley being challenged by the 37 of Trevor Kirkwood. Dave Freeman running third. Morris Overly running fourth. Jerry Bray running out the top five. Kirkwood tying it up over the bag. Still no luck, they've been able to hold him off. Trying to get around Bigley. We'll see if we can get it done. It's so dry slick. Everybody's so dry slick. They're having trouble getting around the corners. Trevor Kirkland running second. Coming around to the checkered. Kirkland goes up into the outside. Can't get it done there. Moves back to the inside. Digley holds him off. Rob Digley, your winner. Kirkland runs second. Freeman third. Overly fourth. Looks like Jerry Bray fifth. Ed Kirchhoff sixth. And that'll make a night of racing from Magic City Speedway. If anybody's got that ticket, Five three six three eight nine eight. Come up and get your collector glass from Budweiser. That'll conclude the X night from ninety four one KRKX Montana's home of rock and roll. Thank you so much for coming. Drive safely going home.
We look forward to seeing you at the Speedway each and every Saturday night at 7 o'clock. Don't forget, next weekend, July 3rd and 4th, the Big Wing Warriors, the ASCS Sprint Cars, direct from the Knoxville Nationals, they'll be here. So shouldn't you be. Have a good night. This is your track announcer, Cliff Kraft, saying thank you from Magic City Speedway. Are these your guys' cool.